Let me give you a quick overview of our latest live stream, which is all about displaying error pages and printing variables in Drupal CMS. Now, I'm sure this has happened to you. You have deployed on a Friday afternoon, because we all do it, and then you go to the home page or you go to some page and you get this uh, the website encountered an unexpected error. Now, what do you do? Well, the first thing you need to do is see what the error is. And a quick way of doing that is by just coming to logging and errors and then selecting one of these options such as all messages or all messages with backtrace information. If we click and save and refresh, we can see a bit more information about exactly what is the problem. Now, of course, I purposely broke this page, but now I know exactly where to go to fix it up. But there are better looking error pages we can use. And the first one comes with Web Profiler. Now, Web Profiler is a nice little toolbar that you get down at the bottom, but it also gives you a nice looking error page. And if you click here, you can see all of the all of the methods and you can also see the stack trace by clicking on the stack trace button and you can switch over to dark mode. If you want to use another error page, you can use Ignition, which I believe is a library and it's used by the Laravel project. And this is what it looks like. And one thing I do like about this is that it actually shows you the code that's causing the problem. And if you scroll down, you do get a bit of information down there as well. Then we took a look at how to print variables in Drupal. So here, if I go to the home page and I jump over to my code editor, I can throw in the dump function and just pass the arrays variable into dump. And what it's going to do is it'll display it up the top here and I can even drill down and see what is available. Now you do have another option and this all comes with, with Drupal. If you type in DD, this is dump and die, and that will essentially print it out and then stop the request from going further. So essentially dump and die. Now the Devel module comes with a few options as well. So what we can do is let's jump over to here and we'll use DPM. What that essentially does is that it displays the printed variable in the message region on your Drupal site. So anywhere you see little messages such as thank you for submitting the form, it will appear there. And that is useful because sometimes if you use these functions, depending how customized your front end is, it can be hard to see things because it's kind of squashed into the design. This just makes it easier to see and it displays it nicely. 